Hi, I'm Jason Stahl, and I'm here with Dan Reuter from UPOL. Today's video will be the first of a three-part series which covers UPOL's specialty fillers. Dan, thank you so much for being here. Can you tell me a little bit about the products you'll demonstrate today? Sure, thanks for having me today, Jason. UPOL offers a variety of direct-to-metal, premium body fillers, specialty fillers, glazes and putties that can be used in a variety of applications and industries. Today's video will focus on UPOL D, the fine metallic polyester filler. UPOL D is a versatile direct to metal formula with high adhesion across a multitude of substrates. It's aluminum reinforced and it contains aluminum flakes, so it's perfect for the restoration or classic car work, or any application requiring medium to deep amounts of filler. Unlike competitive metallic fillers that require a special MEYK liquid hardener, UPOL D uses the same cream hardeners that all UPOL fillers require. These cream hardeners are available in two colors, red and blue, and can be ordered separately for convenience. I see, that is convenient. UPOL D's formula is non-shrinking, smooth spreading, and has excellent filling properties. It's easy to sand and is ready to sand in just 15 to 20 minutes. Dan, I gotta ask you, what is this? This is just to show you how UPOL D can be drilled and tapped for a cosmetic repair on an intake manifold, just for example. Ah, okay, that makes sense. The last important feature that I want to mention is that UPOL D Fine Metallic Polyester Filler is waterproof so you don't ever have to worry about it getting wet. And when you're using UPOL D, you can use it to bond or fill it with itself so you can potentially eliminate the step for applying a finishing glaze. Wow, it sounds like there are a lot of interesting features about this product. So Dan, what are you going to demonstrate today? As I mentioned, Jason, UPOL D is an aluminum reinforced filler, making it a staple for any kind of restoration work. Today I'm going to apply UP0709D Fine Metallic Filler along with a couple of other UPOL products just to show you how quickly and easily you can restore the look of a worn aluminum wheel. This sounds really exciting, Dan. Shall we begin? Great. Let's get started. First, I'm going to clean and grease the surface with wipe 6. Next. I'll abrade the surface with 180 grit sandpaper. Then I'll re-clean the surface with wipe 6 and wait for it to flash. Next, I'll dispense the u D filler on an onion board and add my 2% hardener. Then I'll mix the material in our figure 8 pattern to ensure it's properly mixed. Next, I'll apply u D with a spreader onto the repair area. Then, to minimize my sanding, I'll blend the edges of the filler into the rim using my finger. Just be sure you have a rubber glove on if you do this. Wait 15 to 20 minutes for the product to cure. Next, I'll sand the surface with 320 grit sandpaper. Then I'll re-clean the area with wipe 6 degrees here to make sure all the sand dust is removed from the surface before priming. While the greaser is drying, I'm going to shake the can of Upol's Gray High 5 Primer Aerosol for approximately 2 minutes. Next, I'll spray 1 to 2 coats of High 5 approximately 10 inches from the repair area, allowing a 5 to 10 minute flash time between my coats. Once the primer is dry, we're ready for our last step, the application of Trim 11 Silver Wheels. I'll apply one to two coats of Trim 11 at approximately six to 10 inches from the surface and allow a three to five minute flash time between coats. It'll be dust free in about 20 to 30 minutes. What a fantastic before and after shot. It's amazing to think how only a handful of products can make such a difference in the appearance of that wheel. Where can people go to find more information about UPOL D Fine Metallic Polyester Filler? Sure, for more information on these products, you can visit u-pol.com. Wow, sounds great, Dan. That does it for today. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.